what's up? In this video right here, we're gonna learn the knee drop at beginner's level, but then buckle up because we're gonna do a lot of stuff that might be valuable for pros as well. Coming up. Eight police officers in the hospital. I exchange. Yo, Coach Sambo back in your face with a new video. And this time, no air flares, no tricks, no 1.5 and then falling on your neck. Nada. Today is the day for the knee drop. And the first one out there to complain and say, Knee drop is for beginners. I want to work on my front flip. Will receive an instant <laughs> slap in the face. Because let's get one thing very clear right here. The knee drop, knee drop is sacred. Is sacred. Uh form back in the day. It's truly an old school move and still unbelievably fresh if executed the right way. Now the knee drop is mostly used as a go down and a go down is a connection point from your top rocks down to the floor. But in my book, it's also listed as a no handed footwork. As later in this video, I will give you some cool concepts that you can play around with so you can learn how to create new possibilities with the knee drop because finding your own is what the game is all about. So hey, if we're just meeting right here for the first time, my name is Coach Sambo and welcome to my YouTube channel, a place where I share 20 years of knowledge as a b-boy, coach, MC, judge, and bringing all that knowledge here together and injecting it straight into your brain right here, taking you to that next level. So if you're feeling the vibe right here and you want to see more, then definitely hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date every time I upload a new video. And it might be a beginner video or it might be a pro video, but anyway, I'm sure you'll find something you'll like right here on this YouTube channel. So welcome. So let's start this off right here with the simple basics of the knee drop and learn how to properly execute the move. So the way I like to teach it is by starting out with a jump on one foot. You might ask yourself the right foot or the left foot. Well, it doesn't really matter because you should be able to execute your knee drop on both sides. Mastering moves on both sides will lead to a lot of possibilities when you start to combine them or create new forms of the move. So don't just implement this with the knee drop, implement this with almost every move that there is in this b-boy game. So you can help yourself expand in this b-boy game. So after this jump, we're gonna place the other foot behind our knee. Now the foot you place behind your knee is the foot we will be standing on the moment we drop down to the floor. Now see, the position you end up in during a knee drop mostly relies on that foot that you place behind your knee. Meanwhile, we still have the other foot that's kind of on the floor, but one thing we have to notice right here is that we do not have a knee that touches the floor, unless you're creating some kind of variation that would have the knee on the floor. But when performing the basic knee drop, you wanna keep your knees off the floor. So to drop down to this position, we have have to let ourselves fall sideways. Something we don't really see when somebody's executing a proper knee drop, but the correct angle is dropping to the front, but yet leaning a little bit to the side. So you can aim yourself in the right direction to place the foot we're gonna stand on on the floor. So once we drop all the way down, you really wanna make sure that you stand on that foot and place 90% of your weight on it. And of course, it's okay to use your hands when learning this at first. But just remember that you wanna take your time just to make sure that everything stays in place and that it doesn't become chaos. And make sure you start to understand the move at first before you start speeding up, which is kind of logic, right? And that brings me to this quote that I love to use, practice fast, learn slow. Practice slow, learn fast. Now a very common mistake when learning the knee drop is the foot not keeping that position behind the knee. And when you start having a gap between the knee and the foot, it's not gonna make you end up where you need to end up for a proper knee drop. So make sure you keep that knee and that foot close together. So they can make out and make a knee drop baby right there, preferably not deformed, so you can smack someone up in a battle. Then when all of this starts to become clear, you wanna make sure that the drop is instant, light, and preferably on beat, of course, while hitting the snare. But what's a snare? A snare is a certain sound you hear while listening to hip hop music or break beats. If you wanna learn more about the snare and musicality, then I definitely recommend you to check out this video right here, sharing with you tons of tips and tricks on how to work on your musicality and how to understand music better, so you can dance better on the music as a break dancer. You can watch this video later by just clicking the button right there so it's next on your playlist. Now also when learning the knee drop like this, don't forget you really want to practice this on both sides. And don't be stingy because if you're stingy with your training, life will be stingy on you. Also when performing the knee drop no handed, you want to start creating pictures with your hands and arms as we're not using them anyway. Boosting up details and making you look more experienced when breaking it down on the floor and executing your knee drop. So now that you have hopefully unlocked the knee drop, the time has come for me to pass on more knowledge and of course possibilities with this move. So here we go. The first option is simply using it as a go 
down, of course, dropping to the floor and creating a connection point from your top rocks to your floor moves, which is basically the definition of a go down. Now you can use your knee drop to go down into any kind of move, footworks, freezes, blow ups, you know, you can use it for anything you want. So have fun with that. Now the second option is twisting all the way back up after performing the knee drop. Keep both feet on the floor and keep your feet in the exact same spot as they were during the knee drop. After dropping down to the floor, all you have to do is twist your way up slowly to the left if you drop down on your right leg or to the right if you drop down on your left leg. After twisting all the way back up, you can of course combine it to any other move or maybe just use this as a finish and connect it to a stance. Moving on with the next option is a traveling knee slide knee drop. Now when placing that foot behind your knee, you want to add extra speed and explosiveness and just throw yourself in the same direction as the knee drop, creating a way more explosive and dynamic knee drop. A great way to enter the floor or blow up the crowd, especially if you add something crispy to it. Moving on using a little bit more of imagination, we're going to use the knee drop as a walking move while traveling from one spot to the other. Start out with the basic knee drop. Once dropping down to the floor, you want to stretch your front leg out, stand on that front foot, and then continue the move by walking in into the knee drop with each step, basically creating this walking knee drop. Don't forget to use your hands and arms when performing these moves as they are performed no-handed, also known as no-handed footwork. This next one is one of my favorites. I call this the knee drop in and out. Perform your knee drop, then put more weight on the front foot. So we manage to release the foot we're standing on and swing it all the way to the front. When placing that foot in the front, you can return back to the knee drop, but also you can step back out and perform multiple steps to the front and then returning back to the knee drop. And basically this is what I mean by playing around. The more you try new things with this move, the bigger the chance that you actually might stumble upon something that looks really good. That's what we wanna do. Moving on with the next knee drop is what I call the open and back knee drop. And this one is performed by doing a normal knee drop and then using both feet at the same time to jump up and connect it to this position on both feet. And this technique is kind of easy, so it's really interesting to mix up with like Russian steps or other basic footworks. Again, helping you to create your own stuff. Don't forget, you want to use it on both sides so you have more depth in your moves and your combos. Basically making you look more experienced as a b-boy or a b-girl. And then the last and final knee drop variation that I'm giving you guys today is what I call the snake knee drop. So for this one, we're going to perform the knee drop and then we're going to use that front leg to shift all the way behind the leg we're standing on. Once you place that foot on the floor, we can then stand on that foot and then create the knee drop once more. This might be one of the hardest variations in this video right here, but then again, it all depends on how experienced you are and how fast you learn and how well you concentrate and all that. Definitely the amount of time you spend practicing. That's a real game changer, of course. But hopefully I've given you guys enough ideas for you to cook your own and definitely try all these techniques out and try and get them kind of clean and really understand them. And that's just gonna open up more doors for you guys. So you find that shortcut in becoming the best possible version of yourself as a b-boy or as a b-girl. So guys, if you wanna learn more of this stuff, then I have to add right here that I've been working on this beginner's masterclass for a while right now. And this beginner's masterclass is a 70 minute video sharing tons of beginner knowledge, like top rocks, footworks, blow ups, power moves, freezes, all at beginner's level and all really, really well explained by your man, Coach Sam. To keep it short, if if you love this video right here, then you're gonna love the Beginner's Masterclass. Nothing less than all the techniques I've used to train small kids and transform them into world champs. It all starts with good knowledge and good basics. So if you're interested in this masterclass, then just head on over to my website that you can find in the description down below. So fellow b-boys, b-girls, and crackheads. I hope you enjoyed this mother video. And if you learned something from this video, then don't forget to support me by definitely leaving a like and a random comment. And you can hit the subscribe button or whatever you want, just to make sure you might stay up to date with all the new videos that I'm releasing in the future. Don't forget to check out the full beginner series that you can find on my YouTube channel. Because then, at the end of the day, when you think about it, it's just all about that b-boy shit.